welcome to Sleep Tight Stories. Nobody's Dog Mama and I live in an apartment in a big city. I love my mama, and she loves me. When I'm hungry, mama makes me my favorite food. When I'm thirsty, she gives me what I like to drink. When I'm sick, she takes care of me. In the summer, I cool off on our porch, and in the winter, I snuggle in my soft, warm bed. We both love dogs, too, but we are not allowed to keep one in our building. Nobody's dog lives in our city, too. Mama and I see nobody's dog when we walk to the park, go to the store, or wait at the bus stop. We see nobody's dog in the snow and in the rain. Sometimes I can see nobody's dog from my window late at night. Sometimes nobody's dog is little. Sometimes nobody's dog is big. Nobody's dog can be young like me or old like my grandpa. But nobody's dog is always sad and lonesome. Sometimes when nobody's dog looks really unhappy, we invite him in. Our landlord doesn't mind when we say nobody's dog is just a guest. First, we check to see if nobody's dog is hurt. Then I wash nobody's dog. Sometimes he likes it, sometimes not. When we feed nobody's dog, he is not fussy at all. Then we take nobody's dog to the vet. Will it hurt him when he gets a shot? Soon, nobody's dog is warm, clean, and not hungry anymore. The next day, we begin to find a home for nobody's dog. We ask our friends to ask their friends. We put up signs at the grocery store we put an ad in the newspaper. We always find the right person for nobody's dog. Sometimes the person is little. Sometimes the person is big. The person can be young like me or old like my grandpa. Sometimes the person is sad and lonesome too. Now, nobody's dog is nobody's dog anymore. Now, he is somebody's dog. <laughs>